Hey guys, it's your boy, Panic, and I'm going to teach you how to make this bass from my song, Dark Crystals. <laughs> Alright, so this bass was one of the first bass houses, bass house synths I've ever made, and this song I've, I found pretty successful. Now, a lot of people have asked me, it's like, how did you create this bass? You should do a tutorial on bass design. Oh. So, I'm running out of ideas on songs. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you guys how to make the bass from Dark Crystals. So first things first, you're gonna just wanna start a new patch, make sure everything's initialed and it's all all good. Under oscillator A, you're gonna go to user, then try sine wave, the, I'll have it in the link description down below. And same thing for oscillator B, you wanna enable that as well. Next you wanna do is enable your filter and move the frequency to around, uh, 100 hertz, 10 o'clock, should be good. Uh, enable for B and enable your key tracking. Uh, change your uh, LFO one to around here to give that bass sound more of a, a plug, so it has a lower attack and has more of a release, so it's like a blah, blah, blah. So now, drag LFO one source on top of the frequency, that should be good, and lower the resonance and drive all the way down, and you should get something like this so far. Make sure your trigger is on and changes to like one eighth to give it more of a pluck. See, it's already sounding like it. Uh, next thing you want to do is in under oscillator B, you're going to want to change this to minus B. Um, what this will do, this will modulate uh, the wave uh, wave table under oscillator B to give it more of a you know like a an organic feel or something something better. With L four one, drag on top the on top of that and change it to around 25. You get something like this. It sounds it sounds a little too deep, so we're gonna increase this by one octave. There we go, that sounds a little more in the sweet spot. So next thing I'm gonna do under oscillator A is change the modulation to FM from B. I'm gonna, uh, the sweet spot's between 70 and 80%, but I'll show you the progress as I move it along. You can hear, hear why. I'm gonna keep it around 70% because that's, that's what I like around, around there. And this creates that edginess to the bass plug that we all know it's a, <laughs> and so that's that's how quick it is to make a bass house um bass with that now you can do uh small things to you know make, make it a little more better what you can do is go to distortion uh play around with this Give more of an edge your sound. Uh, if you enable a compressor, you can turn on multiband to give it more of a more of a distortion. So that sounds heavier. There's this really cool thing I found out recently. Uh, if you enable filter, go to your note uh, detection. This will detect what frequency you're playing, as you can see here, and it's gonna attach the attach the values to the frequency or to whatever you modulate it to. And then it's going to create this. All right, <laughs> got to enable the flanger plus. Now it does this. Sounds a little more organic. If you don't like that, you can just disable it, of course, and you get more of the digital one. But with that enabled. It's pretty cool. You can do like minor things like the hyper dimension too. To give it more of um, a thickness. Speaking of which, under oscillator B, if you change this unison to 2, change the detune to 10, um, what this will do, this will make the waveform sound a little more wider by adding stereo. That's always great to have in a bass house track. Um, next thing, you can just play around with the pitch and just just go to town on it, like. 